Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. I have to point out that it's tricky to learn phrasal verbs that share the same particle, as in come out and go out. Maybe you know this already, so I don't have to call attention to it. In any case, I'd like to make the definitions and uses of these three phrasal verbs clear to you in this lesson. It's easy to picture in our mind how a turtle comes out of its shell. In this sense, come out simply means leave. Someone or something exits a place. So it shouldn't be too difficult to accept this other meaning. Season one of Stranger Things came out in 2016. In this TV series, the mysterious Hawkins lab tries to keep its research a secret, but the truth about its experiments starts to come out. In this sense, come out is still intransitive, but the meaning is abstract. Something is released. Something becomes known. Test your knowledge. Do you recognize two other meanings of come out? Many people came out and showed their support of the new environmental policy. It can be a difficult decision for a young person to come out, not knowing if friends and family will accept this part of their identity. In sentence A, come out means you say or show something openly. In sentence B, coming out means announcing that one is homosexual, because up to this point it's been a secret. The meanings are similar. It's about something becoming known or visible. Because the phrasal verb come out has multiple meanings, you need to become familiar with these common ones. A good resource is Youglish, youglish.com. You can do a search for come out or came out and observe how the phrasal verb is used in a variety of contexts. During a pandemic, people aren't going out much, but in normal times, children go out and play together. Adults go out to theaters, restaurants, and clubs. Going out is about leaving your home to do something fun. You can go out on a date or just go out with some friends. Go out is intransitive, but we need an object if we talk about going out of a place. This refers to leaving. It can be literal, as in go out of a building but we can also talk about going out of our comfort zone and leaving what is familiar. Can you guess these other meanings? Many restaurants and small shops have gone out of business. During violent storms, the power sometimes goes out. Thank you so much. I know you went out of your way to help me. In sentence A, go out of business means to stop operating. In sentence B, the power going out means the lights stopped shining, the electricity stopped working. In sentence C, going out of your way is an expression. It means you did something extra nice or helpful for someone. Pointing something out is about calling attention to something. This phrasal verb is transitive and separable. As I've pointed out in other videos, phrasal verbs are common in conversation, but that doesn't mean you won't read them in academic writing. 
let's quickly identify whether the following statements are more typical of spoken English or academic writing. Full verb forms and more complex grammar are typical of academic writing. Contractions and direct forms of address are more typical of spoken English. We've now covered the nine most common phrasal verbs in English. Let's review. Can you match the phrasal verbs to their meanings? That's all for now. Please like and share the video if you found it useful. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies. YouTube memberships are only 99 cents a month. Get my custom audio gifts on Emojam, language tasks twice a week, and exclusive access to a playlist of recorded member-only live streams. Click the join button today. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on those notifications.